As NFL preseason games continue this weekend, the kneeling of players during the national anthem continues, and the league says they still don't have a firm policy on it. President Trump continues his demands that players either stand respectfully or face serious consequences. Mac Engel, sports columnist with the Fort Worth Star Telegram, joining us now from no less than Santa Barbara, California, where the Cowboys are out for their preseason. Uh, Mac, this brings up some interesting questions because you were at the game with the 49ers when the 49ers were kneeling there in protest. Some of them were. Uh, how is the reception to that? How does it compare to how the Cowboys are acting? Well, I think it kind of depends on where you are and which part of the country. In San Francisco, obviously, a pretty liberal stronghold. It's okay. It's kosher. With the Dallas Cowboys and certainly owned by Dallas Cowboys owner Jerry Jones, uh, that's a no-fly zone. <laughs> so they're not going to kneel, and he's made it uh, very clear to all of his players that they will stand at attention for the national anthem, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Well, it, bring, it brings up an interesting dichotomy, because you talk to the NFL, they say, well, we're still trying to figure out our policy, uh, and at least is the way you describe it. Uh, Mr. Jones has made it clear that uh, his sideline is a no-kneeling zone. Uh, how does he do that, and can he enforce that rule? Well, he is. I think it's just one of those situations where he can walk into a locker room and look at his employees and say, you're going to stand. And they'll sit there and sort of say, okay, I guess that we're going to stand, even if necessarily that isn't what they want to do. Right. Whereas some owners, particularly Atlanta Falcons owner Arthur Blank, uh, Mr. Mara, the New York Giants, has uh, condoned and totally endorsed players who maybe want to go on their own and take a knee during the national anthem right. in protest. Not of the anthem, obviously, but it kind of depends on what team it is and where it's located and what that particular owner thinks. And clearly what we've seen is not everybody in the NFL within those offices is on the same page just yet. And here's the list of teams that so far have had protests this year. The Eagles, Dolphins, Jaguars, 49ers, Seahawks, and Ravens as well. Have you heard now and gotten to the point where it seems as though fans are starting to walk away uh, from the NFL over this and over the, the year two of uh, the kneeling controversy? Certainly heard it. Certainly heard it. Uh, I get a lot of uh, you know action on social media and emails from fans. I mean, saying are, we're I guess away. As, as you talk to front offices around the country, are they worried about it? Have the owners started to be oh, concerned absolutely. about this? What absolutely. are they telling? Yes, sir. Absolutely. Uh, that they know that this is a serious issue and that they're potentially alienating their fan base and giving them a reason to not watch. So this isn't necessarily about patriotism, Leland. This is about capitalism and wanting to ensure that their fan base has every reason and every desire to come back and watch you, their games. As you talk to players, we only got about 30 seconds left. Are they worried at some point that there is going to be a backlash from owners that is both swift, swift and severe? You kneel, one time there's a fine, the next time you're gone? Absolutely, they're worried about it. All they have to do is look at Colin Kaepernick and Eric Reed. Those right. guys are NFL caliber players who can't get jobs because they've been blacked by the, by the league that has said, you know what, maybe not uh, this is the reason why you're here, but they've certainly applied it because they can't get jobs because of their stance in regards to this issue. All right, uh, Mac Engel uh, with the Fort Worth Star Telegram. Uh, it's a little cooler out in Santa Barbara. Enjoy the few days out there before you head back to Texas, sir. All the best. Will do. Thank you very much.